Hey, this is Kim again, and uh, today I am going to do, well, not a review, but I guess a how-to and a what-to-get type of thing if you buy an Amazon Kindle Fire. This is the number, the 7-inch screen, 5th generation I think it was, and if you look here, it's, uh, yeah, it is 7-inch display, oh, oops, sorry about that. Uh, one one thousand twenty-four by six hundred with Wi-Fi, eight gigs. But you can also get a um, a, one of those micro SD cards to put in the side of it, and you know, add uh quad core front and rear cameras, and like I said, a micro SD up to one hundred and twenty-eight gigabytes. Um, and comes. Now this, yes, this was a fifth generation. The box, I thought it was pretty cool. It's kind of triangular. You don't see that often. And it comes with a power adapter, an USB charging cable, a built-in rechargeable battery, of course, personalized special offers and sponsored screen savers, uh, pairs with the fire cover, um, fast and responsive 7-inch display, I already mentioned, expandable storage, apps and games that are actually free when you get from the underground, uh, and one-of-a-kind app store experience where thousands of apps, games, and even in-app items are 100% free, get extra lives, unlock levels, unlimited add-on packs, and more for free. Incredible selection of movies, books, and more. Shop over 38 million movies, TV shows, songs, books, Android apps, and games, including Netflix, Facebook, HBO, Pandora, and more, with free unlimited cloud storage. Now, this is all Amazon, but there's also the regular cloud. Great for the whole family, easy to use parental controls that you filter age appropriate content and screen time limits, plus manage web browsing and content usage. Or if you're like me, you just have to program it so that your father can't drain your battery all day playing Angry Birds. Or, as my mother and I did, we bought him his own Kindle. Fast web browsing, email and calendar support, including Gmail and Outlook Plus view and edit office documents. Now, if you do get a Kindle or any tablet at all, I do highly recommend to get a screen guard. Okay, now this is for a regular, a bigger size screen protector. I'm guessing more along the lines of an iPad. This, as you can see, is more about the size of the screen. Sorry, I'm um, not quite open yet, but you'll just have to trim it down. It even has the spot, as you can see here, for the camera hole, or down here for a bigger camera hole. And these two spots here and here are what you pull off and then you stick on. Um, these I actually got from the dollar store. So, gotta love the dollar stores. You never know what you'll find in there. And it's not necessarily always junk, but yes, there are some junky dollar stores. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Oops. Doing that in front of the camera. Two. Okay. Now, here's my apps. Here's some of my books. These are two websites I sent to my Kindle with the Kindle button on my browser. Um, I've already downloaded plenty of books, not like I don't have a pile of them in the corner over here. Um, I mostly play um, this game Vikings, Hexablast, and uh, Hungry Shark, and Cracker Barrel. Um, let's see here. Alright, so you can put your name on the top. Um, you have the date, time. Over here is where you f do the Wi Fi. You'll see, like, whatever your Wi Fi name is. 
and here's like a whole all the the list of everything that's in well supposedly in range, but around here everything is pretty much locked. And then I ha also have some some stored from like um, Starbucks, uh, Michaels, um, my the. The office I have to go to for um, for my some doctor appointments. Um, here you can do not disturb so that it won't wake you up at night if you leave it on. Like if you use it for an alarm clock. Um, airplane mode. Um, this is blue shade, and it does that. I think it's supposed to be easier to read in the sun or something. I haven't figured it out. Camera, a quick way to get to the camera. Auto rotate, that's so that if you have it like this or like this, it'll do it automatically. Um, and then there's the settings right here. We have wireless, storage, power, apps, ga and games, display, device options, then the personal stuff, my account, profiles, family, parents, control, security, sound and notification. Uh, keyboard language and then the system stuff. So I'll show you with the device. Um, we already sort of covered the wireless. Um, we'll go to storage. Sorry, I'm just putting in my password. Um, now here is the storage. You have a one tap archive. Um, I have, I forget, I think it's 64 gig micro SD card in here which is on this side in this spot right here up here is the power button here's where the oops, sorry power button where the USB cord goes um, the microphone here and then the volume and right here where my stylus is sticking out of goes the headphones now I just recently found on Amazon they have a keyboard for this that actually plugs into the USB which is sort of what I've been looking for instead of a Bluetooth because uh, I'm not quite sure how the Bluetooth works and the Bluetooth is actually about close to 40 bucks for a Bluetooth keyboard so the one that I found with the USB is only like I think 12 anyway so I'm getting off my uh, ideas here. Um, you install supported apps on your SD card. This is just like all functions of what you want to do. Store photos and personal videos on your SD card. This frees up a lot of storage on the Kindle. The sad thing is it's not enough. Everything, this stuff is still on the Kindle. Like anything that you put on your SD card, some of it I'm pretty sure still ends up being on the actual device because this thing always tells me it's out of <laughs> out of storage and always me and sometimes if you have if you're almost out of storage you lose your Wi-Fi connection so sometimes you gotta free up space but you don't have to worry if you delete something from your your um, home spot here you can always get it back from your Amazon Cloud, which oh, I forget how to do. I can't think of how to do it off the top of my head, but you just got to go to your Amazon and then click on um, your digital orders, I think it is, and then you can find them there, and then you could just re-download it and stuff like that. But you can, I, if I remember right, you can do that also from the um, apps and game setting here. Uh, go to m manage all applications. Okay, manage all applications. There we go. It'll show downloaded in SD card compatible. Uh, now we've got Angry Birds. Um, I change this up every so often as I kind of get sick of stuff or just don't really need it. Like um, even though I don't really need it right now, I have Garage Sale Checkout here which is really good if you're going to have a tax sale, garage sale, you know, whatever, whether you're doing it out of, um, uh, you know, at home, by yourself or with other people, but make sure there's only one person doing it, <laughs> being one or two people using it to do the um, cash register stuff. Um, what else? 
Pandora. This comes with some... I've deleted some of the stuff that it comes with. Um, I got a spending tracker, the social zone I downloaded. Uh, it comes with Twitter. It comes with, um... I think it came with Yelp. I know it came with Pandora and a couple other things, but I've taken them off of the device. Um, what else? But you, you get the idea. You can do it that way. And, um, let's see. Power. We have 33% currently. Smart Suspend. Automatic Start Smart Suspend, which increases the standby battery life. Um, it'll turn off wireless connectivity when you aren't using the fire. Scheduled Smart Suspend increases ba standard battery life by turning off wireless connectivity during scheduled times. Uh, now, my I have my schedule for 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every day. Uh, but I think that was for a time when Dad was playing Angry Birds. <laughs> Um, advanced settings, uh, display settings, reduce display brightness, or choose a lower display sleep time to preserve battery life. We click that, and you can see, oh, wait, there we go. You can see it kind of changed there. I like mine just a little less than half. And the blue shade, I showed you display sleep after 10 minutes. Of, you have 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute all the way up to 30 minutes. I have it set for 10 minutes, though. I thought I had it set for 5. Well, let's change that back. Let's change that to 5, actually. Um, this I have for a huge font size. I don't know if it'll show. Yeah, here we go. Goes back down to that. Normal, it goes to that. That looks like it's even less than 12, so I have it big, and I'm not even that old. Um, when devices rotate, rotate the contents of the screen. Now there's also, okay, here's, I think I already showed the display stuff, right? Yes, that I showed. Device options. Change your device name, um, battery, date and time. Find your tablet. There's a way you can remotely locate it, like if you left it at, like, a friend's house or something. Uh, backup and restore system updates, reset to factory defaults, device model, and the serial number. Um, we also have... Let's see. I forget where... Oh, here we go. Under personal, there's sound and notification. So, here's media volume. And I don't know if you caught, heard that sound or not, but there you go. And then there's system. I don't know, that's not showing for some reason. Default notification sound, you could change what you want. Okay, that's not wanting to work for me at the moment. How embarrassing. Oh well. Um, then you have the Do Not Disturb every day from 12. This is to turn off the notifications like this here. For, as I said, when, say, you're in a meeting or you just don't want to be bothered reading or sleeping. Um, when devices, lo notifications, when devices locked, hide sensitive notification content. Like here, I have, like, it, it, it'll show that you have Facebook notifications, but it won't tell you what. Uh, app notification, choose which apps can send you notification, and the access. Um, uh, what else can I show you? And then you just go, like, this part will show you everything you recently were in. Um, home shows you pretty much everything. Here's the camera icon. Here's your silk browser. Um, the clock, which you can put the times. But I also found a cool weather app, which is your Windows, and it has like a couple different like um, wallpaper type things. And one of them, if you click on the windows of the buildings in it, I think it's the town one. They actually click on and off. If you click a car, it'll honk. Things like that. It's just kind of cute. I just, 
it was just something other than the weather one because for some reason the weather that comes with it wasn't working for a time. And then here you go to bar books. You could just look up books here or you can go directly to the search for something more specific. Um, then there's your video. Now this also shows... that's not what I wanted. Okay, why can't I get... Alright, well, there's this uh, new thing of Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. But, let's see here. Will this... Let's see. Okay, here goes downloads. You Now they have, I forget what it's called, but now they have a thing where you get, like, a few downloads. And... Oh, that's what it's called, on deck. You'll always have a couple of downloads to watch if you need, and you can watch. I think it's usually just the first episode. Yeah, watch episode one, watch now. Otherwise, it's... Oh, watch seasons one... Oh, with Prime membership, you can watch seasons one and two for nothing. So, and Prime membership, I think, is uh, $100 for the year. But... I mean, if you think about it and you rent a lot of movies and stuff, that's probably a pretty good idea. Um, I haven't even used my Prime membership yet, the, you know, the free, like, 30 days or whatever that you get. There's games, like I said, I got Hungry Shark, um, and then it has your suggested ones. I like the, um, the ones that, like, you find items and there's games and stuff in, um... What else? Yeah, that's what it's called. Hidden object games. Plus, you know, they also have sometimes the um, the puzzles within those games. Here's the shop. And apps you can look up. And music. Music, I don't really have anything. These, I think, was already on here. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have something. My Darkest Days. Um, and I think that's all. But I do have to get the Suicide Squad album. Um, what else is there? Oh, that's what I think. I, I thought I downloaded the Heathen song from the Suicide Squad soundtrack, but I don't see it. Oh, here we go. I think that's it. Nope, that is... The my darkest days. Oh, I also have Avenged Sevenfold on here, Black Veil Brides. So basically anything you buy Oh, I also got Avengers soundtrack. More Avenged Sevenfold. Any kind of C D that you buy off of Amazon basically you get like a MP three version that goes into your your account, so you'll always have music with you as long as you have your, um, your Kindle with you as well. But everybody pretty much uses their phones nowadays. And then there's a newsstand, which I don't really use. Um, I was, however, being that we got Dad, uh, um, Dad one, I was thinking of getting him, like, a fishing magazine for his. Uh, maybe for Christmas, I don't know. But that's as much as I can think of right now to show you if there's anything at all that I haven't covered and you would like to see, please just co give me a comment in the comments. Or, if you can, direct message me through at... at Kim O K Y M O Dragon on Twitter, and let me know what you'd like to s me to cover uh, about the Kindle. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.